Hello my beauties, welcome back to my channel. This is Mimi B here again with another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I achieved this beautiful hairstyle using the yarn and thread method as well as the butterfly looks method. So if you want to know everything I did in order to achieve this beautiful, simple, protective hairstyle, then you definitely want to keep watching. <laughs> all right guys it's time to get started what i have here is my stretched out hair i just took out a flat twist hairstyle that i had on next up i'm going to be patting the back of my hair in order to do my single braids at the back so achieve the butterfly looks at the back i'm going to first of all need to do single braids and i'm just trying to get a clean part as much as possible using my phone and yeah this is what we have now next up i'm going to just apply some of that grease on this pattern just to keep that part oiled Next up, I'm going to go in with my Shine and Jam hair gel to just make sure that my part is kind of clean, as clean as I can get it to be. All I'm doing now is just braiding the hair. And once I'm done braiding the hair, we are going to get into the tutorial proper. If you want to see a video on how I usually braid my hair, just in case you're interested, I have a video on that. And I'm going to link that somewhere on this page so you can feel free to go check that out. Now it's time to get into the locks. And the items we'll be needing in order to achieve the looks are I'm going to be using this Darling Passion Twist hair. This is the hair I'm going to be using for the locks. Next up, I'm going to use my Shine and Jam. You guys will see how I get to use that. I'm going to be using this baby wool. Yeah, this wool basically. Next up, I'm going to be using my needle. And this is the hair. All I'm doing now is I'm going to just separate the hair just to give me that butterfly-ish kind of effect and i'm starting from the bottom separating the hair can be very tricky it can go from zero to hundred really really quick and everything will just become tangled up and a mess so you need to take your time be careful and separate the braids as nicely and as neatly as possible next up i'm going to start crocheting and i'm going to be passing my crochet needle through that braid just as you can see next up i'm going to put my weave and try and pass it I don't, I don't know i feel like a lot of people already know how to crochet their hair but yeah this is just it if you need to rewind the video just go ahead and do that and make sure that you're following me as much as possible to get the length that i want i'm going to pull the weave and then just get the length that i want and then start to lock the weave that i'm using this is my darling passion twist and this is what i'm doing here right now i'm just locking it at the root i did that four times then i will now start to lock the braids the braids that like that i mean like my own natural hair i'm going to start locking the darling passion twist on onto that and then just going around and around and around i feel like it's when you start to do it on yourself that you kind of get the hang of what it is that i'm doing but just watch what i'm doing and feel free to follow along when you are trying to do that on yourself as well so all i'm doing now is i'm just going around and wrapping it around my thumb just lightly and then doing it all the way down just wrap it around my thumb just to give me that butterflyish effect once i get to the end of that length that i want i start to wrap it again upwards towards the root of the hair just as you can see and wherever i stop i just go around 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 and make sure that it's really secure next up i'm going to just rub my palms on it just to make sure everything just it properly and it doesn't start to loosen too quickly i hope you guys understand what i'm saying yeah i hope you do i'm going to do that again a couple of times just so you can see how i'm going along with it and if you have questions feel free to leave me comments in the comment section i'll be more than happy to help you guys with this particular hairstyle and yeah you can follow me on instagram as well and then just reach out to me via dm i'll be happy to help you guys i'm just going to repeat that same process again on this side of my hair so you can just see it one more time i'm going to stop talking now so you can just pay attention and watch as i go
all right guys so this is what the back looks like i'm done with the butterfly looks at the back this is my first time ever trying this particular hairstyle and i think i did pretty good if i do say so myself next up we are going to start with the yarn and needle style in front so i'm going to be achieving a flat twist hairstyle using my yarn and needle first off i'm going to part the hair into sections uh, my sectioning wasn't so great because I mean I was in it by myself and it was a lot If you have someone to help you with parting the hair feel free to ask for help Anyway, this is what the section that I'm going to be working with looks like I'm just going to pack this side aside I already threaded my needle with the yarn of course and now it's just time to start threading the hair basically This is the main part of this particular hairstyle with the threading you need to be careful and it depends on the kind of style you are going for it just depends on you basically but i'm going to show you guys how i achieved my own hairstyle i started off threading my hair from my left hand side to my right hand side so with the threading you need to thread it such that you pass the needle and the yarn through your hair and before it comes out completely at the other side just hold on to a very small section not too small something significant that you can hold on to with your own natural hair that's just to ensure that the threading is properly secured basically that's the reason why you are holding that small section with your natural hair next up you just have to be passing the needle through from for me i'm passing my needle from my left hand side to my right hand side and i'll keep passing it like that till i get to the end of the twist or the hairstyle basically once I get to the end, I'll just, you know, thread the hairstyle like the normal threading hairstyle, the threading that you do when you want to stretch out your natural hair. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. So what I'm doing basically now is just passing the needle and the yarn from my left hand side to my right hand side. And I'll keep doing that all the way to the end of this particular section that I'm working with. I'm just going to stop talking so you guys can pay attention to what I'm doing. If you have any questions, if you need help along the line, please feel free to drop me comments in the comment section or you can just send me a DM on Instagram. I'm going to leave my Instagram handle on this particular page so you can feel free to shoot me a DM and I'll be beyond happy to help you guys. So I'm just going to stop talking now and allow you guys concentrate on what I am doing. Alright guys, so I'm pretty much done with that part and I'm starting that same process all over again. I'm just going to show you this same process a couple more times just so you guys get a hang of the tutorial in general. So one other hack that I want to share with you guys is concerning threading your needle. Threading your needle with your yarn depending on the type of needle you are using for this particular needle. Threading it was a bit stressful for me. I had a lot of difficulty. However, I found a way to make the yarn pass through the needle all you need to do is just apply a little bit of that your shine and jam edge control and just 
apply it on the tip of the yarn just to make it flatten out a little and it will make it very easy for you to pass it through the needle that was one hack i found and yeah i thought to share with you guys just in case you are trying to recreate this hairstyle and you're having issues with passing your yarn through your needle but if you're using a very big needle that is you know easy for you to pass your yarn through the needle that's great good for you but for me because of the size of the needle i was using i was a bit stressed out with passing my yarn through my needle anyway i just left this part for you guys so just in case you missed the point at some point you can always you know get the hang of it by watching one of all these other steps that's why i you know repeated the same process for you guys to really really get the hang of it this hairstyle is very very easy nothing out of the ordinary very easy to achieve the only thing that stressed me out was patting but i mean i understand that i'm the only one and i don't have eyes at the back of my head so <laughs> it's okay if my pattern isn't the most perfect pattern ever anyway i'm just going to keep doing that and once i'm done i will start to crochet the ends of this particular yarn and needle hairstyle but yeah for now let me just allow you guys enjoy this part so yeah this is me i'm done basically i'm just threading this particular last one next up i'm going to grab my crochet pin and my darling passion twist hair and just crochet the remaining you know the ends of my hair in front the flat twist i did in front i'm just going to crochet it with this my passion twist and the same process applies you pass your hair through your natural hair past the partial twist or whatever weave you are using through your natural hair and just try and achieve that butterfly locks that we did at the back just to make everything look alike i hope you guys understand what i'm saying i really really hope so anyway i'm just doing that same butterfly locks method and just you know locking my hair just to achieve that look that we're going for this was my first time ever trying any one of these techniques this was my first time of trying the yarn and needle technique as well as the butterfly locks technique so i'm going to try this hairstyle one more time and i'm sure my you know my finishing will be much neater than it is right now this is my first time ever so yeah i understand that the hairstyle looks kind of rusty but i just really was very very excited to share the hairstyle with you guys that was why i went ahead to just post it on here for you guys to enjoy feel free to do something neater than what it is i'm doing right now i'm always happy when i see you guys recreate my hairstyles and do something neater than what i did so yeah Please take your time and just do something really, really cute. This is the last one. I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same process on this last one before I reveal the final look. So yeah, this is the final look. Yeah, <laughs> it's not the neatest hairstyle ever, but I think I did pretty good for a first timer. Please feel free to tag me on your post when you recreate this hairstyle. Anyway, I'm going to switch to something cute and show you guys what I look like. Okay, this is me all made up, all, you know, dressed up and stuff. And I think I look really, really cute. I love my earrings. I went ahead to you know accessorize the hairstyle just to make it look more you know pizzazzed and dazzled and all of that i know i didn't put a lot of all these things it's, it's still very new to me i'm not used to putting all these things in my hair so yeah that's why i didn't put a lot but yeah this is the hairstyle this is everything i think i did pretty good the hairstyle is a fantastic protective hairstyle so please feel free to try it out on yourself and feel free to share your recreations with me on social media i'll leave my handles on here so if you're watching this video still and you're not subscribed please subscribe join my family also give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching thank you guys so much for watching and i can't wait to see you guys in my next one bye love you